I decided to do my director's presentation on one of my favorites, Ryan Murphy. Murphy is a notorious workaholic with the tendency to oversee several projects at once. His first hit show was Glee, a show where queer kids, weird girls, and jocks all came together in the name of music. Trapped by the world of teenage musicals, he created American Horror Story and began his tendency towards hour-long 8-10 to 10 episode seasons. Murphy's a screenwriter. Um, he creates shows and oversees them and directs the first episode of each season. And I think this is because his talent lies in the introductions and setting the rules for the rest of the season. Murphy was born in Indianapolis in 1964. Uh, his father was very Catholic and would attempt to beat the sexuality out of Murphy. He believes that no one successful in Hollywood had a good upbringing. In his show Glee, he gave his story a happy ending with a working class religious father accepting his son's sexuality. In 2012, he was married to David Miller and now has two sons. Murphy uses rude humor to mask an underlying sincerity. He addresses serious themes in his work. For example, I read in a New Yorker article, he's the only television creator who could possibly have presented Lily Rabe as a Satan-possessed nun gyrating in a red negligee in front of a crucifix while singing You Don't Own Me and have it come across as a critique of the Catholic Church's misogyny. He felt overshadowed by white dudes making shows about other white dudes and became dedicated to hiring underrepresented groups. He often puts the gay kids and middle-aged women as the main characters rather than the sidekicks. He casts unusual options and has the tendency to reuse actors. His psychological thriller horror stories are influenced by David Fincher, the creator of Seven. American Horror Story was influenced by Dark Shadows, a show airing from 1966 to 1971. Mike Nichols, the creator of The Graduate, influenced him to deliver very serious content disguised as comedy. The embodiment of Murphy's career, in my opinion, would be one of his newest shows, Pose. Pose is a show about the underground ballroom scene in New York City in the 80s, where families of trans and gay people who don't have other places to go live together and compete in voguing competitions. Pose included 108 trans crew members and 31 LGBTQ plus characters, plus many of the profits were donated to pro-trans causes. Matters such as trans women hoping to pass as cis women, the AIDS epidemic, discrimination, family trauma, and homelessness were all addressed in the show. He takes these issues and tells the story through characters we love and struggle alongside with. Ryan Murphy has a certain consistency with his characters. You've got the scary blonde, the crusader who tries to fix the institution, the aged actress who carries the show, the badass woman, a differently abled person who has specific insight into what it's like to be human due to their condition. Overall, Ryan Murphy's shows are about a collection of misfits, whether it's people whose truths do not fit with the status quo, a band of high school misfits, or literal members of a freak show. Here are some themes consistent in a lot of his projects. Murphy worships his leading ladies and believes you are only as good as your best villain. As mentioned with the band of misfits, every project of his is focused on a family, whether a genetic relation, a sorority, or as the result of a common tragedy or interest. His work is full of aesthetic locations and his series of establishing shots before each season really works to show it off. He also is a fan of seemingly random musical numbers that don't always fit into the storyline. Where Ryan Murphy truly shines is in his introductions. There is a reason most of his shows have a new focus each season following 10 episodes, and there is a reason he directs the first episode. His ability to introduce his world, characters, and settings are prominent and very similar in all of his works. Here is a clip from American Crime Story, Versace. <laughs> One more example of him introducing a character with his most common archetype, the leading villainous lady.
putting all of his tendencies and skills together, this opening scene to Pose is the prime embodiment of Ryan Murphy and his talent. get my hair to look like Madonna's from Desperately Seeking Susan. Every time I tease my roots, it just looks like Miss Thiele. <laughs> Why are you conversing on matters so banal? For 10 years, the House of Abundance has reigned supreme. But last week, Pendarvis stole our trophy. Focus, children. It is time we remind the world who we are. I think I have a pattern of nice and lovely and then dark and twisted. This is one final quote of Murphy's that I will leave you with to perfectly embody his style, themes, and personality.